Hello, uh, Namaste. My name is Saroja Angdi. I am talking from Karnataka, India regarding target torturing the individuals uh, in a gang stalking way to dilute uh, dollars, um, commodity, you know, and all in the name of race and religion. I wanted to show a few of the things that I am going through. Um, mainly the remote neural monitoring and also um, the remote radiation that they are doing that is um, sucking my my health out and I want to show you few of those proofs um, so again this is regarding no touch torture and this is 24 by 7 this happened in the US and uh, there were people who were following me, all the neighborhood people, um, you know, 24 by 7, even in my home, any place. It was all set up how it increasingly um, <coughs> covered all the rooms, the helicopters, the followers, um, and then <clears throat> energy beaming, like maybe lasering and that kind of stuff, um, electromagnetic. Uh, radiation etc so I want to show you a few of those things today here's a picture of uh, electromagnetic spectrum um, on the left side you see the less energy radio waves microwaves um, infrared, infrared and then visible light and the ultraviolet x-ray gamma rays um, so these are the invisible part of the light here. Of course, there is a visible light. So apart from it, there is from the spectra, we have invisible um, rays or the energy. These are tapped into and weaponized and they are used against <clears throat> civilians by these US government, shadow government, deep state, etc. to run us away. <coughs> To run us away, um, you know, just a bad people uh, trying to take over, and then there is this depopulation agenda they've been publicizing. Uh, you know, they have these statements um, up carved in uh, Georgia State on the stones, so most people know that. So this is all the cunning effort that they are doing, hiring people, spending the uh, dollars on it while the tax come down back to the other nations you know their uh, their currency are sucked into it in a different cunning ways so this is the electromagnetic spectrum so I want to show you that tell you that my tail backbone end is punctured remotely while I'm you know I was sleeping um, so this has happened earlier also, but unfortunately, I cannot take the picture, you know, it's in my back and then that too, um, at the bottom. It's not exactly the tail end, maybe, you know, half centimeter, one centimeter away from it, but it is on the left side and I was like, okay, whatever, you know, first time when they did it or when I noticed. Um, I did want to take a picture, but who would go there, you know, take a picture? So anyway, so that was sort of thing. but. Now what I realized is they are using that puncture point. What they do is that they are energy assaulting there and I can feel that energy traversing through the spine into the brain. So whatever, like say this, the, you know, they were doing this uh, heart waves that they were doing to disrupt the pacemaker to kill us, that sort of thing, you know, and then another, waves that they give is the electromagnetic field to the brain you know it kind of gets to you and the same way this one it is not external this this is they do it at the bottom of the um at tail end uh you know however uh, maybe when i'm asleep but now i do not recall and then it traverses through within our own body and comes to the brain and brain gets all blah so i don't know i don't know whether anybody has reported this kind of uh, assault but this has been happening to me and uh, and I believe that spot that they do might get closed and they do the other one. So I think I am getting the second one now. This is pretty dangerous because they are making things pass through the you know spinal fluid. So my 
back bow and tail end is punctured remotely and is being used to kill my health. Uh, the next one is the energy block surrounding my body. They are setting up a block of energy around me. What happens is that, um, so I don't feel the outside air at all and because of their energy and I get cooked up, so my face will all be sweat and everywhere, everywhere I will be kind of sweat. I don't feel the breeze, though I know that my neighbor who is standing next to me, they are feeling the uh, breeze because these people are doing it indoors as well as outdoors. So outdoors, uh, I could see that air is there, but it's just not around me. Um, the fan, you know, doesn't help as much because this, this energy is really, this energy block is really heavy. Uh, so what I started doing recently is I take my own sari and then kind of with my own hands, I'm kind of waving it. So this is what I am doing um, to help myself. But it took a long time to figure me out. I mean, I knew that they're setting up an energy block around me and that I was sweating, but uh, for me to feel, you know, like even outdoors and then it wouldn't even change, even in the outdoors, you know, wind. Um, so, you know, I took a while to figure that out. Um, the no touch torture continues. Um, so basically uh, my health or my well-being is sucked out. Well, how do I say that? Why do I say that? Basically, my height and weight are reduced and, uh, you know, the thing is um, they are discoloring my skin color. They are they're darkening me and uh, that stuff can be seen um, if I have a sticky tape, it won't be there. So outside it is there. So they are doing it heavily. So anyway, my height and weight are reduced, which is very alarming. And they are radiating me these days to my thighs and uh, my, um, uh, you know, waist. So they've been doing it for quite some time. I've already lost weight, a lot of weight, uh, but they continue to do that. And then, uh, you know, as of last few weeks, because I have formed a um, non-governmental organization in India, uh, effectively to help out this covert um, energy assault, um, energy assault, uh, you know, that is done remotely. So they are following me and whoever is with me in this, um, society they are affecting them as well so their uh, action has happened so my height and weight are reduced and i'm constantly under attack of either um, electromagnetic field to my brain or um or uh, radiating my entire body or you know uh, the lasering stuff and etching on my skin everywhere on to my eyes uh, etc is all um, going on so this is in a sense what is exact opposite of what doctors are there for doctors are there to ensure well-being and these people are from hell and they are doing this a uh, lot of targeting targeted individuals they already know but I do want to tell you tell this one to the non-targeting individuals here who are reading this so I do have medical background and physics background yeah so I'm stating that the crooks are doing all kinds of stuff um, to the entire unwitting population of whole entire world many different nations they have already crawled over crawled over so no touch torture uses radiation weapons to deteriorate the victim's physical health and damage them psychologically. So in this case, they are darkening my skin. Is it to um, make me look like their slave? I am not sure what that is. So the next one is um, the neural hijacked sleep or thought isolation. Yesterday, um, you know, there are these US paid local perps. Uh, I was traveling in the bus, there in the bus, you know, it was about like an hour or more uh, of a travel distance. So they dragged me in and out of the hijacked sleep. Um, and it is just like, uh, you know, how uh, they, you know, you slide your uh, green button when the cell call comes in on the cell phone, that you slide that button. That's how they were, they were sliding me in and out of it. So when they put me into it's like slowly that i'm only thinking the my core thought what 
like really I want to do how do I want to go but so I'm thinking only that isolate they put me in that level where I'm deeply thinking that process and that makes me a, a, a slave because I don't know what's going on outside and all of a sudden they drag me out and then I see the light uh, sunlight um, and I'm sitting in the bus and that um, the bus is riding on on the street so so this is how they are isolating our thought process and seeing what we are doing and etc what's the core of it what we are doing so this neural monitoring my god it's very physical and by the way uh to the people who do not know that this is a real technology so if you go on ebay blah blah you can find these um these machines or the devices they only cost like 150,000 blah 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 and you can buy them and make a business out of them so this is for real if you have any question yeah please uh, comment me out so I'll give more information on it um so you know these we are all made into the cosmic thing and blah blah but the question should have been whether to do this one to other humans or not but so obviously us is uh in knee deep to gain more power in the world use the world's resource and then crap the people around uh that sort of thing and they are doing it so if anybody wants to hear more i have more information i would be happy to do that uh in one of my videos somebody commented me and they said don't tell that they made me do it yeah listen commenter i am saying they made me do it in my religion, whether you do it direct or indirect, the crime is the sin of the sinner only, not that of the scapegoat. Cunning someone and blame it on that very person as a guinea pig may be your religion thing only. So grow up. There are other faiths, the humanity, torture, weapon, they are much broader than your own faith or conviction. So when, when you say, don't tell, they made me do it, yeah it is your fault you guys running me away from my you know jobs and the place and make you know sell everything um displace me and then have a pleasure this is all because what you wanted you guys are the stealers um you guys are the thieves deluding thieves so any question ask me again in the comment i'll tell you more the next thing i'm seeing is that there's a jelly like phlegm coming into my mouth I had seen this one a few years ago. I was working in um, uh, a company, uh, you know, government organization in uh, uh, U.S. in the uh, Maryland. That's the U.S. Census Bureau. And one day while I was eating my lunch, and all of a sudden the phlegm comes in. It's a very big amount of phlegm, like comes in like a um, big spear, spherical way. And I'm like, where does this come from? Uh, you know, like it obviously came from non-sensual organs so God, I... so this jelly like a uh, phlegm coming in your mouth um it is coming obviously from the top part of uh, um, uh, tongue or, or the mouth uh it's coming through the nasal way i would think coming from top of the head or through the nose from top of the eyes so that's what is coming um, so when I was in uh, the this US uh, Bureau and obviously at that time I didn't know somebody did it but they did it right there and then I got a lot of phlegm these days whenever they are hitting my head with this energy attacks uh, I am getting little little and they're playing with it they do a little little so that I constantly get a little little phlegm that I'm spitting out it's very jelly like kind of clear to a little whitish um looks like a brain matter you know i mean not really white but you know that sort of feeling i'm getting depending on the duration uh, or the intensity or the you know assault of the exposure the phlegm can be small or the amount can be big so here is a picture um and obviously i feel like this is uh mainly done by a uh, satellites because any place I got, even if there are no perps, perps around, this is happening. And uh, the different part of the head uh, they work on, that would be warm to me, to for me to touch. And also there will be some disfiguring, um, the skull becomes dry, 
So I can feel that. With, if I put my hand, I know that it is hot. Wherever they hit me, I can feel it. And then when I put my hand, um, it is hot. Um, and if I slide just a little different way, and that's my normal part of the head, and it's cool and you know nice, uh, just like other part of the body. So I've noticed that this is being done by satellites. Perps are, might also be adding to it, but this is definitely um, uh, by the satellite. They have fed the biological um, signature of my being and then they do it. Obviously, somebody sitting in the US or somewhere in the office, they kind of program it with all that needs to be done. So this kind of a cooking and, uh, uh, you know, basically maybe it affects my brain and then I will soon forget, you know, and then get a little bit Alzheimer kind of a thing or something. So this is the crap is going on. So here's a little picture. There is a satellite and there is this person. Um, this is going on all over the world uh, in 2014. There is a mind control weapon uh, satellite. Uh, that is so powerful it can control your body feelings and emotions um, they also use electromagnetics to attack citizens on body if you try and contact authorities they send you to a hospital and uh, and uh, call you mentally ill so this is kind of awareness and it is very right and i vouch for this so another thing <clears throat> shocks to my back that i get everywhere uh, wherever I go, in indoors or outdoors, and in at home or nearby washing sink or where I drink water or where I stand to cook, um, they have all these things, and I think this is also uh, done by satellite because as soon as I go there, within a few seconds, they start zing, you know, zing, that sort of a thing. It comes up. Um, so more and more I think about it, I am thinking. This is probably they beam something where the neural ends or the network, neural network responds, responds to this energy assault. And uh, this may not be necessarily electric energy. So this is target specific, meaning the targeted person will never miss it. They know that something hit them and it's going on. There's no way out of it. And the non-targeted non person will not know what this is or, you know, or how it's being done. Um, here is a picture of my back. Just yesterday, I was having dinner with my couple other guests at home. This is my back that they have burned me yesterday. Um, I mean, every day there are a lot of assaults, but yesterday, since I had that guest, I asked the guest to take a picture. So here is the picture. So this is a you know like a blue and purple and that's kind of thing and there are the, the three dots and all that's how they've been lasering me. Um, that, that's how they've been lasering me. Uh, these are the pictures of my back on July twenty first. Uh, this is the radiated body, and uh, I also want to show you how much weight I have lost. Um, So this is me and this is my blouse. It used to be very tight. Now look at it. So this I can drag it out. So like good, like a whole entire finger can go in front, back, when there. So I have lost a lot of weight. There's no weight in the hip. There's no weight on my bottom is reduced. This is reduced. My arm is reduced. Um, so I have lost a lot of weight because they've been radiating me. They're killing me. They're drying me inside out. So I'm Saroja talking from India. This is regarding U.S. culprits, crooks, um, assaults, all the veterans, the politicians, uh, you know, bad word people.